Hi, I'm Tom Holland, Bowflex Fitness Advisor. This is the Upper Body Blast Workout. We are going to do five exercises, 10 repetitions each, two times through in a circuit fashion. We're gonna start with the chest press. So Ryan, Lisa, they're gonna sit back, they're gonna take their dumbbells and begin 10 repetitions and go. At their own slow, controlled pace, 10 repetitions of chest, you'll see they're stopping right at their shoulders, coming back up, pressing those weights together. 10 repetitions and from there, we're going to do a seated tricep extension using one dumbbell. So take your time at home, you don't have to go at the same pace, do what you can do, 10 repetitions. Great job working the chest, triceps, and shoulder muscles, and good. When you're done with 10, you're gonna place one dumbbell down, you may switch weights, depending on what works for you. Arms are gonna come back, bring that weight back over your head. Palms are holding the top and press it up. So they're both gonna extend that weight straight up. Perfect form. See that right here? Lisa's extending the weight straight up. She's working the back of her arms. Give me 10 repetitions. And then we're gonna transition. We're gonna to go to bicep curls when they're finished. 10 reps, nice and slowly. Try to control the descent. Perfect form, nice and slowly. Nice. So we're gonna work all five body parts of the upper body, chest, shoulders, biceps, triceps, and our back. We are going to bicep curls. Once again at home, you may change the weight, up to you. Ready, so open those weights up now and begin. 10 repetitions. So the most important thing, one question we always get is, what weight should I use? The weight you're gonna use at home is a weight that is challenging for the last few repetitions. If you finish that 10th rep and it's really light, you need to raise the weight. If you can't get those last few reps, you're gonna lower the weight a little bit, make it a little bit easier. So take your time, squeeze each repetition. So we're working one arm at the time here. If you're crunched for time, you can do both at the same time, but this gives us little extra ability to focus on one arm and see their biceps working. So we just worked the back of the arm, now they're working the front and excellent. Now we're going to transition to shoulders. You're going to change weights, are you good? No, you're good. Bring those weights up and overhead press and begin, yeah. So again, if you watch, they're stopping, controlling that weight, making each repetition count. Really good posture, and bringing those weights up and over their head, working the shoulders. Great job. And from here, we're gonna finish up with one arm dumbbell rows. Good. All right, so now, we're working our back. The back muscle's a strong muscle, so you can switch weights. You'll see Lisa, she's gonna go heavier. Whatever you can do at home, but our back muscle's a little stronger than biceps generally. Got it. So let's pick one side, and you're gonna hold that weight down, ready, and begin. 10 reps. So you'll see here, if you're at home without a bench, maybe using a ball, something different, you just want a nice straight back, and you're pulling that weight up. It's not an arm exercise, it's a back exercise. So you want that shoulder blade to really move towards the ceiling. And the great thing about doing one arm at a time, a unilateral exercise, is it gives you the ability to focus on one side of your body. And now we do the other side. I will get out of the way here. Excellent, so you work one side, then you work the other. Come around and begin. Good, so take your time, squeeze each repetition. You'll see they're looking forward so they have a neutral spine, nice and relaxed. This is the fifth exercise. Once you do 10 repetitions, you do the whole thing one more time. So two sets. 10 repetitions each. Great job, you guys. And they're breathing. Good, is that 10 for you? Excellent, so back to chest press. So that's round one. We go to round two. And another important thing is you may get tired after the first round. You may use different weights, that's fine. You wanna challenge your body while utilizing good form. Can't stress that enough. Lean back, chest, set two, and begin. So nice and slowly, one of the greatest exercises for our upper body. Lisa and Ryan are working their chest muscles, their shoulder muscles, as well as the tricep. 
great, phenomenal exercise. Make sure you're working with weights, though, that are challenging for you. 10 repetitions. And once again, from here, we're gonna transition into the tricep, the one dumbbell overhead tricep extension. So you're gonna hold that dumbbell with one hand and you're gonna extend it up towards the ceiling and begin, good. So you'll see, once again, upper body is straight, upper arm is straight as well. So pressing the weight up, extending the arm, that works the back. 10 good repetitions. And once again, we work the back of the arm, then we work the front. Really good. Simple exercises yet effective. So you're gonna grab dumbbell, you're gonna alternate again, alternating bicep curls. Ready and begin. So take your time, squeeze, and again, you'll see both Lisa and Ryan, they're controlling the weight. You're not throwing the weight around. You're not utilizing momentum. That gets you better results, and that keeps you from getting injured. Really important. Good, excellent, 10 repetitions. From here, we're gonna to go to the overhead shoulder press. Great job. Remember to breathe. So we work the chest, biceps, triceps, then we go to shoulders. Overhead shoulder press. Great job. If you need to change the weights at home, change them. Now we bring those weights up over our shoulders, palm facing forward, and begin. Press them up and over. Really important exercise, really important for our activities of daily living, lifting things up over our head. This is a functional exercise. 10 repetitions, those shoulders should be tired. <laughs> You're fatiguing them. Great, two rounds. Exercise number four, good. And when you're finished, we finish up one arm, dumbbell rows. Take your time, it's not a race. It's about doing the exercises correctly with the right amount of resistance. All right, good body position and begin. 10 repetitions. So once again, the upper body, chest, back, shoulders, biceps, triceps. We want to do exercises that target all five of those regions. This workout does that. Great job, remember to breathe. Towards the end of the workout is when you're gonna to start to fatigue. You really wanna pay attention at this time to your form, you'll see. Great. All right, Lisa's done, Ryan's done. Final set. And begin. So there you have it, five exercises. Focusing on the upper body. Doesn't take a long time, doesn't have to couple more repetitions. Great job at home. Excellent. One more. And awesome. There you have it. Five exercises, 10 reps each. Done two times through the upper body blast workout. Subscribe for fitness content and quick workouts just like this. Get fit fast with home fitness solutions by Bowflex at Bowflex.com. Be fit for life.